Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony, and today we are going to be unboxing Birchbox versus Macy's Box. So, if you are new to my channel, I do a lot of unboxings here, mostly fashion and beauty related items. I love makeup videos and things like that. So if you like those kinds of videos, then please consider subscribing. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and hit the gray bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Um, normally I do on um, my unboxings individually, but this is my last Birchbox I have canceled. I subscribed for Birchbox for six months and I got it right before the price increase, so I only paid $10 a box, but since then they have increased their price to $15 a box, so normally people who are newly subscribing and have subscribed after me are paying $15 for this box. And Macy's box is also $15. So I thought since this is my last Birch box and I'm going to continue with the Macy's box, I would do a comparison to see what you're getting for the price because the price is so similar between these two boxes. So that being said, let's start with Birch box since this is my last Birch box. Birchbox is a monthly subscription where you get five sample size products. It is $15 a month new coming in, I believe, and then your price goes down as you subscribe the longer you're subscribed or something like that. I'm not quite sure. With the increase in price, they have added some customization options. You get to pick between some curated boxes. You can choose an item or you can just have it be random. This is my last box and I did choose a curated box because they actually had one with some items that I wanted. So that is what is in here. Let's get started. The box is very pretty this month. All right, here is the paper with the description of the products and the prices for the full size items. Inside is a coupon here for subscribers. If you shop in the Birchbox store, here is my products and let's just get started. So the first item I'm pulling out here is this, which looks like Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. And this little guy, the full size retails for $28, but this multitasking styler does five things in one. Volumize, adds softness, blocks UV rays, safeguards color, and protects from heat. So comb a nickel size amount through damp hair, then blow dry. So this is just a heat protectant, like leave-in conditioning type of treatment thing. So I will definitely try this. Living Proof is a good brand, and so I was excited to try that. The next item I'm pulling out here is... This, I don't know if you can read it, but it is Elise Whiter. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is Waterproof Eyeliner. The full size retails for $24. So whether you prefer a subtle line or a bold cat eye, this deep purple waterproof pencil glides over your lash line effortlessly. So purple, that's interesting. It's a really pretty purple color. There is what it looks like swatched. Ooh, it says it is waterproof. Let me give it a minute to set in. See? I don't know. It's I'll try it on my eyes, but it doesn't seem like it's um waterproof. It's came right off. So the next item in here is this, which is Kula. So Kula Dawn Patrol Classic Primer SPF 30. The full size retails for $42. This primer meets sunscreen hybrid, preps skin for makeup application, and protects from harmful UV rays. So apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. This is um, nice. It's a primer and an SPF 30, which is really nice, and I will enjoy trying this. However, this sample is tiny, and it probably has maybe one, maybe two uses. So that's kind of a bummer how small it is, but it's a nice product. I will enjoy trying. The next product in here is in a box, and it is this, which is Elamesque. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but here is what it looks like. 
and this all right so this gel sculpt silhouette full size retails for $32 this contour stick creates natural looking definition under cheekbones across temples and along your jawline so you blend in using your fingers so this is a gel contour stick It looks very dark. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, so on the box it says this lightweight gel formula combines a subtle shadow and a cooling sensation in an easy to blend formula. It can be applied sheer or built to a fuller coverage for a more sculpted look. So I've never used anything like this before. Maybe I will give it a swatch because I will try it. It just looks awful dark and I was kind of scared at first, but yeah, it's, um, so there it is there. I guess it doesn't, it's not too dark and it does blend. I'll have to give it a try. It did blend in rather nicely. I've been liking cream um, products lately, so maybe some, this is gel. So I will have to give it a try and see how it does because this is something new I've never tried before. Very interesting. All right, the next item in here is this lipstick queen and this is the item i chose the box for i'm not gonna lie and this little lipstick here is in bad boy and there is what it looks like it is so it is pinker than it looked in the picture but let's see so this is lipstick queen dating game lipstick in bad boy the full size retails for 24 dollars. i would imagine this is a full size product it is a lipstick and it looks to be full size so that rarely rarely happens with birch box but i picked this box because of this product so let me read about it for you here brighten up your complexion with this long lasting opaque fuchsia lipstick it's the cherry on top of a killer first day back outfit so um this is really pretty let me swatch it and see just how bright it's gonna be <laughs> it looks kind of bright but i am definitely gonna try it and see what it looks like on my lips because it is a beautiful pink color and i love the lipstick queen there is the logo there and the color is bad boy once again which is definitely a cute name for a lipstick color so that is that the last item in here and the other item that i was kind of excited about in this box is right here and it is juliet has a gun so Juliet has a gun is perfume and I had received one of these um, perfumes called not a perfume in my Ipsy and it smelled so good and I loved it. So I was excited to see this and get to smell a different kind of their perfume. So here's what the spritzer bottle looks like. It has vanilla vibes is the name of this one and Juliet has a gun is the brand. So this is the full size retails for $135 this sweet yet subtle scent is inspired by the California desert and ocean with blended notes of orchid sandalwood and tonka bean so oh my gosh can't wait to smell it oh it smells amazing of course it does it smells amazing love it can't wait to use it i loved the first juliet has a gun not a perfume i tried and this one it smells just as amazing as the last one i wish they weren't so expensive or i would invest in a bottle but i love them so that is everything that i received in my birch box like i said this is my final birch box that i'm going to be getting because i have canceled that subscription and moved on to other boxes so once again let me recap the items that came in here we have the living proof hair stuff the kula primer the ill mask um face sculpting contour gel the lipstick queen lipstick the little um, purple eyeliner and then the sample of the perfume which is smells delicious 
that is everything that I received in the Birchbox. So once again, Birchbox is $15 a month coming on new now, I believe. And that is what we got. So moving on from the Birchbox to Macy's. So Macy's is also $15 a month. Let's get into the Macy's box, which looks like this. When I open it, it is a bag and a paper, which tells us our items. It is, yep, it has full size prices too, so we can compare that as well. And every month in here, you get a coupon. Um, it is $5 off this month. It is a one-time use, so if anybody wants to use it, there is the code. You can pause it and take it, I think, one time, and it's gone. So there it is. I never use it, so if anybody would like to use it, there you go. And let's get into this. So um, with Macy's, you get a bag, or sometimes... Um, They've changed it up a little bit. So one time we got a makeup brush holder instead of the bag, which I was okay with. I will definitely use the makeup brush holder, but we are back to a bag again. So there it is. And it says hashtag Macy's Beauty in the corner here. It has these double laid in blue and pink lips, which makes it look really weird on the camera screen, but it looks a little different in real life. I open it up and take the pink bundle of tissue paper out with all of our goodies in it. And let's get in here. I'm super excited for this box because it is a great box. Not gonna lie, I already know what's in here and I cannot wait. So let's start with the first thing I'm going to pull out, which is this adorable little cherry. And as we all know, this is Tony Moly. So, full-size product number one, beet chapped lips with a sweet-smelling balm that softens and plumps. The sheer pink tint looks good on everyone and is made with SPF 15. Oh, I like that. For extra protection. So, this is a $10 value and it is just a cherry. Oh, it has a little sticker. So, it is a super cute container and it rolls off like this. Oh, it has a cover, so let's take that off. And there's what it looks like on the inside. It smells really good. And I have lipstick on, so I'm not going to use any of it, but it smells good. And it is in this adorable little cherry container. So that is $10 right there, full size product. All right, let's move on to the next item in here, which I'm pulling out. Here we have this, which is Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint. So this is quick dry matte lip paint in rose and this is a really pretty color so Tarte is a really nice brand I've really been liking Tarte and in the perfect neutral pink this liquid lipstick is long lasting answer to an everyday shade there's no feathering drying or cracking just a gorgeous matte color the retail value for the full size product would be $20 um, this is obviously a sample size because it's really small and it is a beautiful color though. Let's... So I always say I hate liquid lipsticks. I never use them, but I've been getting so many of them that I've been definitely having to give some a try. And the Jolie set I got was wonderful. So I am definitely going to swatch this tart because I like the color. Oh yes, there it is there. Wow, it's really pretty. So I'm definitely going to have to give this a try and see how it does very pretty color all right the next item i am pulling out here i am also excited to try i've been loving sprays sprays give me all the sprays i love them i want to try them all so this is a mario bedisu i don't know if i'm saying that right so this is facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea so let me read about this it is the aloe cucumber and green tea spritz is not only refreshing but preps your skin with a boost of hydration and sets your makeup with a dewy finish so eight ounces retails for twelve dollars this is two ounces so the pro tip is this bottle is the perfect travel size for a midday pick-me-up and this is really cool so um i can't wait to try it let me spray it right now see how the mister is 
Ooh, it has a light, I would say like a light green tea fragrance. It smells really nice. It smells refreshing. It's not like a, it's not like really a scent. It's just like a light. It's nice. I like it. I'm really excited about this. I love facial sprays. Like I said, makeup sprays, setting sprays, rose sprays. I love them all. So I am definitely happy to get this. And let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing I am pulling out here is right here in this foil packet. And is this is SK2. And this is a sheet mask. So let's read about it here. So the SK2 Facial Treatment Mask. Behind every great makeup look is an even greater skin. Prep yours with this sheet mask infused with the brand's moisturizing and nourishing Petria. So um, 10 pack of these masks retails for $135. So that is crazy. So that is um, one full size product, number two, because it is a full sheet mask. So I will count it as a full size product. And there we go. Um, I love sheet masks, love doing them. I'm definitely going to be doing that sheet mask in a self care Sunday video. So if you are unfamiliar with my self care Sunday videos, you will have to check them out. I have a playlist on my page that has them. Um, all on there for you to watch. They are super cool and funny and check them out. So let's move on to the next item in here, which is this. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Chaos. Let me read about it here. So we have this cult fave eyeliner goes on smoothly, which makes it easy to achieve the colorful look of the season. Go for a sleek wing or smudge it for a smoky eye. And this retails for $22. This is another full size item, full size eyeliner here is the color. It is blue. Oh. Bam blue. Very pretty. Um, Urban Decay is a great brand. I am super excited to try this out and see how it does. Um, Chaos is a cool name and I love this color. So it says it's waterproof and long lasting. It says the creamy formula is blendable for 30 seconds and then stays put for up to 24 hours. So let's, let's test it out and go. 30 seconds it's blendable so we can smudge it around on the end here and see it's blendable and then it says after 30 seconds it is good for 24 hour wear so let's give it a little time and see if it's still smudgy in the meantime we will go to our last item in here which is the perfume sample and this is we by juicy couture and here is what the bottle would look like if it was full sized. Here is what my little spritzer looks like. It does say the name on the spritzer. And this is the bright blend of watermelon, lemon, and tuberose is the perfect finishing touch to a fun shout out loud look. The full size bottle of this retails for $85. So this one is a little bit cheaper than the Juliet has a gun <laughs> oh, and it smells really good it smells more fruity more fruity more flowery more sweeter than the other perfume but it smells really good just as good as all the perfumes smell so that is the last item in the box good. okay let's check back to the eyeliner now that it has been over 30 seconds let's see it is on here now and it is now it is on here good and it will not smudge so you just have to let it set in and you're good to go so that is everything that i received in the macy's box so let's recap the macy's box real quick we got one full size tony moly cherry lip balm one full size urban decay eyeliner in chaos one full size sheet mask from SK2. So that is really cool. Three full size products. Then we received the deluxe sample size of the facial spray, the sample size of the Tarte liquid lipstick, and the sample of the Wee Juicy Couture perfume. So 
and oh, it also came in the makeup bag. So you also get the bag with the Macy's. So that is one extra item that you don't get. The box for the birch box is really cute and I will definitely reuse the box, but the makeup bag is more functional and I will keep it in its or give it to someone, you know, or use it for various things. In my opinion, um, Macy's is definitely worth the $15 a month and I will be continuing on with Macy's while Birchbox to me the the sample sizes are too small they don't have full-size products hardly ever and the customization that they've added for the $15 price increase is not really worth it to me because the products aren't bigger they aren't better and they're not giving me anything for that money so I am going to continue with Macy's. Like I said, I really enjoy getting my Macy's bag every month. I think it is definitely worth $15 to me. The coupon makes it even more worth it if you're going to use it. I never use it, so I will definitely just give it away to my um, viewers. Um, but like I said, let me know in the comments down below. If you get Birchbox, if you get Macy's, what one do you like better? Do you think... Birchbox is better? Do you think Macy's is better? Do you think they are both the same? Do you think Birchbox is worth the $15 a month? I definitely think Macy's is worth $15 a month and I don't see the value in the Birchbox. So uh, that's my opinion though. Um, let me know what your opinion is like I said down below. Anyway, thank you everyone for unboxing my Birchbox and my Macy's August 2019 boxes with me. Um, Thank you for watching. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you are not, please consider subscribing. I do mostly unboxings, fashion, beauty, and makeup videos on this channel, so if you like those kinds of videos, then that is what I do. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the gray bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I hope everyone has a great week, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>